So the bearings seem to be all in decent shape. I'm going to pop this one out after and uh, go from there. But other than that, guys, it seems to be in really good shape. So um, what I did was I took all the parts and pieces I, uh, from before when we took the clutch off. I zip tied them together and they're soaking right now in the parts cleaner. Everything is soaking in parts cleaner. I'm going to be doing the same thing with these when those are done. So the next step on this is getting this thing welded and uh, doing an inspection on everything again after it's all cleaned up. So we got to clean up all the gasket surfaces, do the, get the welding done, get the inspection done, and uh, I'll show you guys what I was talking about earlier because it's kind of hard to see in some channels. But you see right here, you can see right there where the chain hit. This is where it broke on the cover. What we're going to do is we're going to have them TIG and fill that in. And we're going to fill this little nug right here in. And then we're going to go ahead and uh, smoothen that all out with a Dremel. And then the same thing back here. You see where the, the metal's broken? So we're going to fix that as well. And I got the piece that broke off. We're going to have them... Oops, sorry. We're going to have them uh, weld it where it needs to go. So other than that, it's not that big of a deal. Let's we'll see if we get this get this thing into place. So they'll be able to put that down, hold that in the place like that, clean that up, weld it right there, put that piece in there, and get that um, as well welded right in there. And then this thing will be as good as new. So that is how you separate the case i gotta go ahead and count my bearings when i had you guys out there i, I cleaned i got them all so i just want to make sure i got them all and uh, i'll count those in a minute and then put those in a baggie and get them all situated and all set so anyway guys thank you for watching this is how you separate the case a little bit of a messy job but that's because the engine is so grungy and everything else we're going to clean it up get it prepped up and uh get this thing Weld it up, get the case done, and then we're going to be in really good shape once that is in. And get the replacement fork for the shifter, and that's it. So, anyway guys, thank you for watching. Please subscribe. And um, I noticed a lot of you guys watch the channel, you guys comment, but you guys haven't subscribed. Please subscribe, um, it really helps me out. Um, I'm doing all these videos, and having a subscription really goes a long way. Um, and when I go to comment, it pops up with your name as opposed to nobody there. So I like, I like the, um, when I'm talking to people to be on a personal one-on-one -on -one level with you. Um, and once again, if there's anything I can do for you guys, as far as, um, videos, I got a, a video request on an oil pump. We're going to be taking apart an oil pump and show you guys how it works and what's inside of it. Um, and a cleaning process that you could do. That might buy you a little bit of time. So those videos are coming up. Now that this is all done, by the time I get this to be all put back together, we have a lot of cleaning to do, a lot of assembly, a lot of parts to order. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Talk to you guys later.